Welcome to my show, Confession of a Futurist with Sanjeev Goyal. Our show brings mavericks, future leaders, phenomenal people who are making the difference. Every week, we have a special guest. Today, we have invited someone. He has a very unique profile, and you will know in a few minutes. He represents 1,200 SMBs in United States. This organization does phenomenal work, and we will talk about it in a few minutes. Raghu, you are living in the United States for almost two decades, right? Yes, that's correct. Tell me a little bit about your education. I did my engineering back home from India and Warangal. did my master's. Then master's in what? Master's in uh, geotechnical engineering, actually. Oh. I'm a civil engineer. Nice. And then I did geotechnical engineering in master's. And then I worked as a civil consultant a few years and then moved into IT. Then I was working at uh, TCS. Then got an opportunity to come to United come States to US like all and of us. Left TCS and then came here. So the reason I invited you, Raghu, you represent 1,200 IT services companies in United States. And all these companies pretty much are set up by first generation immigrants. That is true. That's true. Why true. did you pick this role? And it's all volunteer and you do it just for the goodness of your heart. Yeah, that's a very good question, Sanjeev. Uh, this, is, this is a group. This is, a, as you rightly mentioned, these are the first generation group. And people, yeah. most of the guys um, are members. They're all first generation, 90, 95% plus. Yeah, that's and we all so came, refreshing. Yeah, we all came with like a you know, work visa, student visa. Yeah, everybody 500 came bucks with, in our pocket. With the two suitcases. So we came and then, you know, it's, I, I really feel it's a honor to me to lead such a wonderful organization. This is all small, oh, medium businesses. Absolutely. Which who are in IT. It's a privilege. It is, it is, it is. I'm very, very glad. I have been with the organization from its beginning. We all started a bunch of... People. Yeah, it was like 40, seven, 50 eight. people. Seven, eight people. Wow. There were 10 people. I Less was, than a decade. I was having a coffee, samosa, and then making calls. Guys. And you have changed yes. the policies. Now, yes, we did. That is so okay. amazing. I mean, I still remember four or five years ago, people used to scare joining IT serve. Yeah. And now you even had our President Bush on the podium. That is amazing and remarkable. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. wanted to share with our audience that this is not a small uh, treat. This is and big recognition for organization like IT serve what they have done in less than ten years. Yeah. That Thank is you. impressive. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, the historically, like you know, there are all the national presidents. They contributed a lot. Everybody played their role. And majority, because the organization started in Dallas. I live in Dallas, and I'm closely. They're all my friends. All the past leaders. I had an opportunity to look at them closely and then acknowledge what, what the step that they did. Then, obviously, I wanted to lead this, right? I'm a, I'm a very, very passionate guy when it comes to leadership and management. And then I said, okay, when I got an opportunity and said, we need to do something because all these 10 years that people worked so hard, we are a small group. Still, it is a small group because mm -hmm. There are around 30,000 close to IT business. Services companies? Small, medium business this companies. 30,000? Yes. Wow. And if you look at That's it. That's a large yeah. number. I wanted to make sure our audience understand that there are 30,000 of IT services it's, companies, it, it's, mostly it's my by. Guess. It is my guess, but yeah. I, I have some 90% good data around correct. it. Yes. And only 1,200 are members of yeah. IT serve as yes. of now. Yes. Um, and together, you bring. Six and half billion, yes, six and half billion dollar, just 1200 companies contribute to American economy. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about SMBs. So President Bush talked about 66% of the jobs are created by small businesses in America. Yes. That is impressive. It is. It is. So let's talk about the future of IT, sir. We all are first generation immigrant. We love this country. Yep. As I always say that this is our karma bhumi. Exactly. And India is our janma bhumi. Janma bhumi yes. So we have to contribute to both. Yes. And that's why we always have, we are not torn, but we are committed to the growth of both countries. 
So what are you going to do or what IT server is going to do to improve things, improve quality of life for people here? This way, uh, Sanjeev, actually, we have a plan. We wanted to, this one year term is a very hectic, short term. Yeah, it's term. very if short think, term. I don't know why. But, you have but one now, year. I mean, you know, we were evolving after 10 years, 11 years. We have excellent leaders coming up. Next mm -hmm. year, President is a good friend of mine, mm -hmm. Devender. And, you know, we have a plan. And then our one of our governing board members, Shashi Devri, was saying, like, hey, refer one person outside. You have 1,200, and one more comes in, 2,400. It is just a matter of the time. Now, we are taking everything possible in our hands to yeah. bring that credibility to the organization. People should not think this is a, hey, this is a bunch of guys who are doing something. When I took the role, my important, very, very primary thing that I was trying to do is, whatever I start this year, that can continue for next year and coming years. And I wanted to have a credibility built to this platform. We were looking for a good guest. And when the moment we decided we'll do Dallas Synergy in Dallas, I said, okay, what do we do in Dallas? Then when we'll get in Texas. And when, when the minute we came to know that he was he's open on that day, nice. then we worked four or five weeks consistently. He was an amazing guy. And it is good. Now, he's if you brilliant. say that, yeah, if you say that now, if we do, hypothetically, if we do a conference in Washington, D.C., we would love to have Joe Biden as our guest. That's true. That's true. Right? Yeah. So, the, now so IT serve is so. Let's talk about IT serve vision and future, right? These are the three things I learned about IT serve in the last two days. Number one, you promote small businesses. Yes. Number two, you are really promoting STEM. Yes. You are promoting. You are even going and sending people to schools. You are even helping kids learn so they become data scientists, programmers, and create Video. new opportunities for them. Video. And number three is the voice for a small people. And CSR is another one. Yeah. Actually, and last number four, uh, so uh, CSR. Yeah. And I heard you have done phenomenal work in the food banks. Yes. Even in the COVID time, you have done a lot of great work. I'm sure so, you must have seen North Texas Food Bank CEO. She was here. Yeah, yesterday. she was here. It was phenomenal. And we support, we support yeah. that. See, our uh, CSR tagline says empowering local communities. Yeah. And we made an exception because of this year, pandemic situation in India. My board, we made an exception, raised three hundred thousand dollars in four days, sent oxygen concentrators, ventilators like that. One more important thing I would like to bring it to your attention and to our audience attention is, we are all somehow we are related to immigration, right? Yeah, we are, and we wanted to foster the legal immigration. We are legal immigration, right? Absolutely. Yesterday we were talking, and even President Bush mentioned. We requested, you know, hey, do not treat like the legal immigration. Is there any way you guys? Administration can look at us in a different tone. Yeah, and they should. They must. They should, right? Because we are all taxpayers. So, I'm citizen of United States yeah. for 17 years, yeah. and I do believe that we are contributing we are. to the economy. We are. That's what I mean. We we are clean record, right? Absolutely. We are clean record, and 100% of our companies are tax taxpayers. Well, so every single penny comes in banks, so, <laughs> so there is no other way. So I would like to add one point, and because of the administration is looking the legal immigration, illegal immigration, I'm not I'm not here to comment on any illegal immigration or legal immigration. But to me, uh, to my team, yeah. when you look at it, and then people started administration at the highest level and different offices, Department of Labor. Justice Department, who are you think? Of? Yeah. I don't even know. I mean, I'm very... There are so many not, departments. Not you know, so they, they're so writing the now. memos. They're writing the memos and then putting the memo as a policy. Those memos are working against small medium businesses. Absolutely. When we started the business, the prime reason of us starting the IT service, Newfield Memo, yeah. that memo is not at all good for small medium businesses, I can guarantee. And we we were going to senators and congressmen, they, we were requesting them, hey, we are different. We are not like the project, I'm not taking a 50 million project to other country, India or China or wherever it is, right? We wanted to be no, looked, we are treated, bringing employment here treated differently. we are uh, contributing to the economy and yes. we are making sure, yes. every single member of IT right. serve is making sure yes. that these people are employed yes. here and they pay their taxes yes. and they pay their dues actually. Yes. It's not just taxes, it's the due to the society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, they one should job contribute every, to the society. One job that we create that is tremendous in the scenes, four yeah. or five jobs gets created. Absolutely. But I wanted to finish my thought process on this. Uh, when we started this 2010, right, mm -hmm. and 
all the leaders came and then they were volunteering. In 2018, we decided to go against UICIS mm -hmm. and we filed a lawsuit. Mm -hmm. And Gopi Kandukuri was our president. He took a bold step saying that, oh no, this won't work, let us sue it. Yeah. We did. In two years, in 2020, yeah, we, the whole we, we got a judgment in our favor yeah. and Justice Department, the verdict copy, they named it as ITSR memo. Yeah. If you go to Google to do ITSR memo yeah. and then we get it. Yeah. That gave us a lot more confidence because what we are requesting is genuine truth. Absolutely. Right? Then, what we did, what we, the prime reason why we started ITSR is Newfield memo, 10 years, 2020 with the judgment, the case that we won, they rescinded the memo. Wow. Right? And that rescinded memo, now with the new rules, this is not just for IT serve, just for members or just for leaders, entire industry. True. It applies to everyone, including Microsoft. Exactly. Microsoft, Cognizant, yeah. TCS. They, everybody was struggling and, with that and issue. And people were people trying to talk to us. Then we said, okay, I know, yeah. What can we you, do? You litigate. We litigate because we are struggling. We don't want to get choked. Yeah, but that's fascinating thing about yeah. this country. Rather. And this year, Sanjeev, uh, what we did is people were, even a lot of my friends, they said, okay, you are litigating more. Then I said, okay, this is not fair. Then you have to ask. Be brave. And people did not come forward to be a plaintiff also. Yeah. Such certain people believed they came forward and we won. Now, we started the congressional liaisoning effort. Mm -hmm. We hired a congressional liaison, comes with 20 25 years experience. Nice. Who is stationed in Washington, D.C. He is here in Synergy, downstairs. Oh, he is. He I is love here. to meet him. He is here. You, you should meet him. him. Yeah. Then we kept a budget, $250,000. His role is his, he has his own targets. He needs to write the letters, different departments. Yeah, he's basically. And then he needs to yeah. policy make say so policy make sure policymakers make the right are, policies. Who IT surveys. Yeah. what our interests are, yeah. what our challenges it's are. It's not just IT sir, uh, interest, it's the interest of the nation. Yeah. See, one it is, very, it is. Uh, and I would like to give a lot of uh, respect and credit to this country, Amar. Yeah. I've traveled 34 yeah. plus countries and we had operations, we have operated on almost in 12 plus countries okay. till date. And I studied, everywhere I go I study how the business works yes. and run there. Mm -hmm. There is no place for a group like America. Yeah. I mean, imagine, yep. can you do this in India? Can you do this in UK? No. I mean, the I one big so. thing I want yeah. to give and respect I wanted to give to all the citizens of America and the Constitution of America where they allow, not only allow the freedom of speech, yeah. they listen. Yes. And if they see the systems are not in the interest of the nation, they are willing to change. Yes. This doesn't happen anywhere. Correct. I totally no agree. Way. They call this land of opportunities. Yeah, but not American just dream. Raghu, Raghu, I'm telling you, that is great. $500 we came all and we are all multi-millionaires, but point is not that. The point is the people yeah. are phenomenal. Agreed. The totally law agree. is phenomenal. And do you know why? My theory is this is the only country in the world is built by entrepreneurs. Yes. Nowhere else. <laughs> yeah. That's entrepreneurs true. build true. railroad. Yep. Steel. I mean, it just in our any industry you take it right. It's yeah. entrepreneurship is like really, really strong. And also, it is, very, it is very encouraging. The system is so well. It is very encouraging. And so transparent. People. See, look, all of us are first time entrepreneurs. Yeah. First time. Yeah. My dad. Education was a department. teacher yeah, and then he becomes a professor. Degree. Yeah, he retired. Then we don't know what business means. No. But when we came here, we are to some extent successful because we have that ecosystem here. Yeah. And we love it. This is our, as you said, this is our karma bhumi. Yeah. And then, you know, India is our chanma bhumi. Absolutely. And I have, you know, I have said the same thing uh, yes. six months ago when yes. I was the chair of IIT 2020 Eve. And I said, this place has given us so much exactly. that I'm indebted to America. Yeah. You are indebted to America. Yes. Those 1200 people downstairs, they are indebted to America. Sanju, two things, because all our members are little living good lifestyle. Yeah. Okay. And everybody's on their own mm -hmm. business owners. Yeah. Two things we want to do. One, give back to the industry. Industry gave us so much. Absolutely. And we want to give back to the industry. This is the best platform that you, whatever you do, it is giving back to the industry. Like we won the case, we gave back the industry. Yeah. And next one is give back to this land. That is the CSR that we have, yeah. empowering local communities. So I have a suggestion on that. Sure. 
and this is my this is very near and dear to me. Sure. And I try to do it in past too, but hopefully you can help me do it. Mm -hmm. We are here because of the wonderful education we all got. Yep. There is no nothing unique about us as School compared money. to anybody else except the education. Yes. And our parents really care about our education. Yes. They really pushed us. Yeah. And that's how we got here. Yeah. As a community, can we help next generation sure. right here? Because we do a lot for the nonprofits outside. How about IT serve? Take that as a CSR initiative. We go to the high school, we go to the colleges, wherever we can, and help kids do better yeah. in the computer science because sure, a lot of sure. kids has this fear. Yes. Oh, it's such That's a big mine, thing. Yeah. It's such a complex yeah. thing. It's like, they oh, I'm an artist student. I cannot yeah. do data science. There's so much you can right. do. If you look at IT server, right, that's very good question. See the STEM. And there is a lot of things that we are planning to do. Like the C communities in schools. Yeah. We support it. Oh, then nice. the CEO, he was there in Synergy yesterday. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. Right? Communities in schools is like, you know, in, and now the STEM, we want to encourage the STEM. We want to encourage our members. Hey, you, if you are an AWS expert, you come and then teach AWS. And then 20 kids, underprivileged kids, that is for free. Wow. We encourage them. We do it. Yeah. One more initiative that we are planning to do is veterans. They go in service. They come back. And then yeah. we can we can give them the free training. How it is giving them back. That? Okay, let's talk about it. You know, there are like phenomenal, very very smart army yeah, veterans the, available. These are these are all the plans that we have. Yeah. I mean, uh, first initial question, right? It is it's just one year, but I'll be in the board next five years, governing that, board. That's nice. And then then so also there is some the passion goes increases not it will not come down right awesome. so we wanted to do that stem create this employment and support right and this year we wanted to respect it sir wanted to respect the frontliners police department fire department yeah we have 17 That's chapters every quarter how many 17 wow 17 cities that's a lot this, there are a lot a lot of initiatives are there sanjeev so honestly I'm so ragu let's talk about you okay okay so do you have a confession for our audience <laughs> I have a confession. Yes, uh, it's a non-profit, okay. and you know we were doing certain things, and we won one election in a in a small group. But still, I feel let's say it's a confession for me because you know we we orchestrated and won. Uh oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> that was like like how many years? Maybe ten years. Okay. I, I was also very. I'm now I'm fifty plus, but earlier you know you know when you are in thirties, forties, you are. Very aggressive, right? Yeah. But that is one thing. Even I told my wife also. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, then she was saying, hey, that is not fair. Then I said, okay, no, it doesn't matter. Winning is matters. Mm -hmm. But now, I wouldn't do that. You won't do that. Yeah. Thank you. You're proud. <laughs> You're long. You know, it's, it's very interesting. In America, there is a say that if you are not a Democrat when you're uh, 15, uh, when you're in teens or you are in early yeah, 20s, yeah, yeah. you don't have a heart. And if you're not a Republican in your 50s, you don't have a brain. I don't know how true it Me is, but too. it's I don't know. That's what I, I hear, keep hearing people, even my kids, they say that, okay, you know, dad, this, that. But, I mean, the system that we've grown up is different. Here, the kids, they're growing up together. But I hear this consistently from a lot of people. Yeah. So the rationale is very simple. I believe this polarization is what creating the biggest problem for America. I personally believe, and, you know, President... Uh, Bush even talked about it yesterday. Yes, yes. Uh, this world is getting polarized. And he said something very interesting. And I'm going to read it verbatim. Office of the president is more important than the occupant. Yep. It's so profound. And I believe and I trust and I'm confident too. that America yeah. is going to come out when of I... this polarized state. When we I will try, we will build, and we will be the leader again yes, yes. of this world, a free world. I have a lot of questions from Raghu. I want to wrap up this Thank conversation. You, uh, but uh, Raghu, any parting thought for our audience? No, I mean, you know, I'm very happy. Thank you, Sanjeev. And, you know, I'll, uh, I don't know. I mean, this is all about IT, IT business and all that's what. Oh, that's if if you have a business, if you are a small, medium business, any of you, please and you are in IT, please come and join us. 
we are here to build, we are here to create jobs. This is all about US, this is all about our tagline says empower local employment. CSR tagline says empowering local communities. It's all about here. My sincere request is if you are a small medium business owner in US, please be part of our organization IT Surf. Thank you. No, you're welcome. Now for our audience, I've learned a few very uh, interesting thing in the last 48 hours and especially in the last 30 minutes from Raghu. One big one I learned is polarization is not the answer. Yes. And if we expand this word, it works even in our own organizations. If you are extreme on one side, there is no way you can have alignment, you cannot run your organization, you need to work with the people. Every single person has an idea and those ideas may be great idea, may not be. So that's number one I learned. Second thing I learned is the Constitution of America is perfect. Yeah. Whatever our popular beliefs or whatever our beliefs are, that's our beliefs. And the last and the biggest moment, aha moment for me is 70% of the new job creation is by SMBs. Yeah. And IT serve is an all-inclusive organization. It is not just about people from India or entrepreneurs from India. We are it inviting every single person, whoever is in information technology business, to come and join us and be part of this movement because we are not going to stop. We are going to get to $120 billion revenues well, cumulatively well. very soon, right? Sooner is the better. <laughs> thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. And I want to thank, thank all of our audience. I want to, because of you, I have this show. I want to thank Radio Zendigi and our sponsors. Thank you.